So on Friday's video, we messed up. We kind of missed a few stands inside and all of the stands out of the tent. So let's put that right. Starting right over there, outside, we've got the DMFV tent. So that's basically the German Federation for Model Flying. And then over here, we start with some shops who prefer to be outside watching the planes fly rather than inside, not really knowing what's going on at the flight line. So here we have Tom Jets with their interceptor lineup, which we always tend to see at Western Park. Wooden kits, both for EDFs and turbines. Got a very nice uh, Mercedes one over there. And we've got their lineup of EDF, full carbon EDFs as well, in varying sizes for the different models, be it their own or other companies as well. Some rather large ones as well. Now, moving over here, and you can see here the construction style. Actually looks relatively easy to put together. Mainly big parts, interlocking, a little bit of cyano, and then just uh, cover it in wood, and you're good to go. Next up, we've got our friend Gunter from Smokey L. Obviously first started off with the uh, electric smoke systems, which is what we're probably best known for. And then as well, we have our fuel station, which uh, we have on, uh, on our channel as well. We did the video on this recently with the fuel bags, which if you haven't seen that already, go check them out. Great piece of kit. Now, outside you need sunglasses. So we have a variety here as well, just to choose from, especially if you're here watching like today, it's been the best day so far. We've got a nice, bright, sunny day. If you want to sit out here and watch the planes fly and you've forgotten your sunglasses, we've got you covered. Now, going back to building, just like those kits that we've just seen before, maybe you want some aura cover, all kinds of different colors. Hi right, guys, we've got aura cover here with anything from massive rolls down to the thin pinstripes that some models need. We've got checkers, fluorescents, see-throughs, everything. And our good friend Bern Ponting from his uh, flight school. So if you're ever in Germany and want to either learn some jet flying, be that turbines or helicopters, get in contact with this guy. He can basically put you on a buddy box, get you flying turbines or help you improve certain aspects of your turbine flying. He's got a massive array of models to try, fly and have fun with. Great guy and great pilot. We see him everywhere. It may not be really modeling, but we've also got our drink. We've got food, Bradwurst, all the usual uh, food fair here in Germany and pancakes, even ice cream, which maybe yesterday and the day before it was too cold for today. Looks like a good choice. Inside the tent, somehow, we also missed a few stands. Some big stands, like this one from Swiss Model Shop, even with their absolutely massive F-104 from Airworld, which isn't only one of the largest models here. For me, it's probably my favorite of the show. So I'm disappointed at not having got it in the main video, but we're putting it right. Now, we owe a massive apology to the guys here at Composite RC Gliders. Not only did we somehow, well, I know how we missed them yesterday. We've got my F5 on the other side of the hall here, and we just went straight there. But somehow, not only did we miss them yesterday or Friday, we also missed them at Pro Wing. So it's time to put that right, because they've also got a load of really nice, fully composite gliders here. They've got versions both for motors versions for turbines, nice little neat uh, deflector here so as not to burn the tail of the plane with the turbine during startup. Probably the nicest system I've seen. And then new this year to the fair, they've got two models. One of them is the one meter Hawk, which seems like a nice nifty fun little plane that you can fit in the back of any car. It's nice to see planes which are not extra, extra, extra large and only for the for the 1%. Finally, we have a nice little toy that everyone can enjoy. And then just at the back there, we've got a dynamic soaring glider, 
the Spada, which anyone who's seen videos on the dynamic soaring will know that surprisingly, even though it's not got a motor, it's not got a turbine, that thing will actually normally go faster than any of the jets here. It's ridiculous. The world record is currently held by a dynamic glider as far as fastest RC model aircraft. Then here we've got as well an EDF version. So they've got everything. We've got turbines, motors, EDFs, and they've even got the hiding canopy. So really awesome models that shouldn't be missed, especially not twice. Sorry guys. Somehow we also missed our good friends, Rick and Brendan here at AR, who've come all the way from Australia to show us their line of products. And we hope you enjoyed the video. So like and subscribe. See you in the next one.